All right, ladies and gentlemen, love is in the air, or at least that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, it's time for another cocktail with Tim Lair. Hey, yes, I guess it is in the air, and soon love will be in my shaker, because I oh, love this cocktail. There we go. <laughs> this, this, is, this is one of my favorites, uh, and you don't have to wait till uh, you know, uh, Valentine's Day for this one. This is good anytime, but I do kind of thematically call this Cupid's Kiss. And I'll show you why, but it starts out shaker of ice, ounce and a half of vodka. Don't skimp on that. Mm. Then three quarters ounce of black raspberry liqueur, also known as Chambord. So Ooh. now we have a little bit of black raspberry and vodka going in. Uh -huh. Then three ounces of cranberry juice to give it a nice little Valentine's red color on there. Boom. That goes in. We're going to give this a good little shake. Oh, I can just hear it now. Oh, yeah, I like Sunny all those things. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's almost ready. It's almost ready. There it is. Now, strain this into a nice cocktail glass. Beautiful color. Ooh. And then a couple of garnishes. Here is Cupid's Arrow with uh, a little bit of heart candies on it. Mm -hmm. That's my garnish, nice. so Cupid's arrow goes in. And of course, it is the Cupid's kiss, so when you're finished with the cocktail, you can enjoy a little Hershey's kiss on the side as your treat afterwards. So here it is, Cupid's kiss, kiss it goodbye. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Woo. I'll tell you what, the uh, the Chambord kicks this up. It really, mm -hmm. that black raspberry comes through, um, and it, but it's not too sweet. Just a nice little balance with the crayon. And of course, I can't wait to get to the garnishes. So here it is. Cheers, everybody. Mm. I mm. like it. And it's not your traditional chocolatey, syrupy type of you know, no. what a lot of people are like, nah, I don't want to do, which is good for some folks, but some don't. Well, right. I mean, the, the cocktail we had last week was a great example of someone who likes chocolate, like my wife, but this is, a, mm -hmm. another, you know, another flavor palette, if you will. <laughs> yes, it is uh, on the flavor wheel of cocktails. So uh, really a nice cocktail to be enjoyed anytime, of course. You can uh, change up the uh, garnishes, maybe some black raspberries on there or uh, whatever yeah. you want. See, and the great thing so, about that, I was gonna say the great thing about this cocktail is it can be made for uh, you know someone you might call your Valentine, or if you're in a situation where you're just trying to love yourself, it's very easy to make. And yes, it is. It's, I, and I was delicious. gonna say with last week's drink and this week's drink, I mean we have Valentine weekend technically, so you could just do one one day and one the next. <laughs> one like that, MJ, brilliant. Well, you know, we're, <laughs> hold on, we're all supposed to be staying home. So, I mean, if you're not going anywhere, why spread it over a couple of days? Make one, right. then the other. <laughs> I'm not your mom. That too. Do what you want. I love that idea. <laughs> uh, see, that's why that's why tim keeps us around he's like you know occasionally they have they have a good uh, they have a good thought there, there somewhere we, we encourage that behavior that's right we do <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, as always, the uh, the recipe for this is in the comment section of the video. Uh, go find it, like and subscribe, all of that good stuff. We've got lots of fun stuff. So Tim, uh, you said you're doing uh, Valentine's Day plans with your lovely wife at uh, with White Castle. White Castle and Corbell Champagne. Mm -hmm. Now, are, <laughs> are you guys are you guys getting like the Crave case to go, or is uh, are are they doing are are they like still doing in person seating? Uh -huh. I, I, I think I'm going to do the to go. Uh, so it's going to be like, not the whole crave case. That's quite a bit. That's that might be overdoing Valentine's Day, but at least uh, maybe a six pack. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. A crave case would probably ruin Valentine's night. <laughs> Yes, it would. That's what and, I was uh, thinking. And, and the next day could be uh, ongoing. <laughs> yeah. Tim, how long have you and Lori been married? Gosh, it's been, uh, okay, let's see. Let me do the gazette. Get it right, here. she's listening. Uh, got married in 99, <laughs> it's 2021. That's 22 years. 22 years, Nice. Wow. That's, Very that's nice. it, 22 years. All right. Uh, MJ, what about you and your husband? 20 years. 
20 years? 20 years this year. Uh-huh. We're at eight, but that's fine. We've, we've been together for 18, if that counts, but MJ says it doesn't. He, he says that. Oh. I said, I told him it doesn't count if you're not legally bound to stay. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but before, after waiting 10 years to propose to my wife, uh, I would not have any conversations with my then uh, girlfriend's mother if she was holding anything sharp. I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't blame her at all. Right. She, don't either. It was about four months before I proposed that she's got the uh, fork and knife and just kind of rink. So what are your intentions with my... Peggy, I'm happy to have this conversation with you as soon as you put the cutlery down. Uh, at least it wasn't yeah. a shotgun. 11 years would have been... 11 years that probably... <laughs> Shotgun <laughs> weddings. That's right. It happens. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no matter what your Valentine's Day looks like, uh, you know, if you're uh, if it's a, if it's a Valentine's Day party for one or two, mm -hmm. you know, these these cocktails are are easy to make. Uh, and if you're trying to forget that Valentine's even exists, uh, half price chocolate on Monday. This will still go with that. Oh, yes. Right. It's oh. even better than the day after Halloween because you get the better stuff. It's great. It that's true. is. That's true. <laughs> Halloween has the quality, I say, Valentine's, or no, Halloween has the quantity, Valentine's has the quality. There you go. Yes. That's true. That, you're right. Oh, well, that's yep. a good way to put that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no peeps. <laughs> no peeps. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Tim, thank oh. you. Uh, I hope you and uh, Lori have a wonderful Valentine's Day. As well to you all. Uh, we will uh, We will check in with you next week. So if you don't have a good Valentine's Day, we'll know because of the you, you're doing your own camera. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Uh, that's that's great. hilarious. That's great. Yeah, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. I was like, oh, I should ask Tim how long they've been married. And yeah, that, oh, that was good. I, I well, yeah, I, I did the math pretty good. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's why I got married yeah. on the even year. I don't have to do that, you know, in 2000, boom, it's done. Oh, <laughs> that makes it easy. That does. Hey, how was the castle? Did you? Uh... Oh, the castle, the Kentucky castle was amazing. Um, it was, it was really cool. Um, because I'm on a, I'm on a, a weight loss plan right now, so like I couldn't really drink. But their I want to go back and have a have a cocktail at their bar because their bar, which is kind of off uh, from where the main restaurant area is, is really cool too. But the, cool. It, it, that is a cool bar. Yeah, you go in and then it's to the left, mm -hmm. and uh, that is a, a real cool bar. Yeah, and like it. Even even with COVID, like if it had been, you know, warmer because they've got the pool and they've got the garden and stuff, like it would have been cooler. But I mean, even even you know, cold, a ca it's still better, than, you know, in a castle. So, oh yeah, so, yeah, awesome. Right. M MJ's met. MJ was supposed to go. I only got to go because she couldn't. So she's sitting here biting her lip. It's fine. You should give him <laughs> Tim's number. Tim's like the king of romance. You know, I've I've seen I've seen how I saw Lori's birthday. I'm just saying I am making reservations oh, to right. Shay Laird. That's right. Yeah, that was. Well, a, that's what. That was a blowout. It <laughs> was. There you, so. there you go. That, yeah, that's what he's telling me. He's like, I'll just do it the old fashioned way, like when we were first married, and I'll just cook for you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, as long as he also does dishes. I was going to say that's clean it. up too. That's the key. Mm -hmm. That is the key. That's absolutely that's it. So. All right, Tim. Well, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Absolutely. And Thank to you. you all. And we'll see you uh, next week.